Hi, my name is Dr. Jean Chamberlain Froes and I'm the Executive Director of the Save the Mothers program. I'm here at Marimbi Hall on the campus of the Uganda Christian University. And inside this hall, there are scores of East African professionals who are learning about the issues of why 32,000 East African mothers die every year from pregnancy complications. I want you to, be, uh, to go away with something that you can use in your daily lives or when you interface with other people. Save the Mothers program offers a Masters of Public Health Leadership, which is a modular program. In other words, it allows people to study and work at the same time. Students are here twice a year for a total of nine weeks, and the program lasts for two years. And then you study what are the factors that... This program is different from other MPH programs because of its leadership component. Students are not only taught about skills, but also they are taught how to bring change. In order to qualify for the MPHL program, one has to have an undergraduate bachelor's degree in a recognized field of study, and one has to be passionate about saving the lives of mothers and children in their area. That's the type of person that we're looking for, someone who really sees himself as an agent of change. I'm a sign language interpreter professionally. I work with uh, deaf mothers in the community. So I had the passion of coming to get the skills in maternal health. I wanted to take this program to help me improve on my skills as a politician. I'm a pastor. Apart from sharing the scriptures, we found out that there was a need to speak into the lives of the people. When I looked at the brochure of MPHL, I found it met the needs and that's why I was motivated to come and take it up. Because it would give me the skill and the knowledge to manage the community problems. I took up the MPHL program for a number of reasons. I lost my mother when I was still a young boy. Everything changed. It was actually a changing point in my life. The composition of our class, you find that we have nurses, we have teachers, we have journalists, we have people from all walks of life. They just make the, the contribution, the examples very relevant to what we are studying right now. And we take it back to our workplaces and implement it. Students in the Save the Mothers program come from all areas of Africa, primarily East Africa, Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, Southern Sudan, but we also have had students from Nigeria, Malawi, and other countries. So we welcome people from all different backgrounds and all different places to come and be part of the program. There's a building that's dedicated directly for the students. There's a place for them to stay upstairs. There's wireless internet. There's classroom space, all dedicated for the MPHL program. Our classes are composed of about 27 students. Although we have more than 100 applicants every year, but we limit our admissions at uh, 27 students per year. Yeah. The program has the best lecturers, the Ministry of Health, the gynecologists. So what they teach, you really feel it. And just for them to spare a whole day to come and teach us is such a sacrifice. And they really know their staff. It has uh, broadened my understanding of safe motherhood and maternal health in general. I think 100% of Uganda needs the program because we really have a very high maternal rate. To get a reduction in maternal mortality, it has to be a combined effort, all members of the community. I'm sure with that, if we infiltrate all through the East African communities, we shall have a healthy East Africa. <laughs>